Hey everyone, happy, what is today, January 19th, this is going to be a daily reading for Theta Day, don't know where that voice came from, forgive me if I feel a little, like, excited, um, I'm, I'm just saying it's because the moon is in Cancer, so it's just making me feel all kinds of wonderful, so if I seem a little higher than normal, that's well, probably what it is, I'm just feeling real good. Um, with that said, interesting set of aspects, especially when we put that with our rune, so I kind of just want to jump into it. Um, yeah, so let's do it. So, rune for today is Wunjo, uh, which, one of my favorite runes, absolutely love this rune. So it's all about joy and happiness. And I think today it's really about, um, your personal individual happiness. Um, this rune can talk about, like, solo travels, um... For me right now, I'm definitely picking up the personal happiness, also maybe developing some interests. Like, I think you guys um, may be either consciously, like, choosing to pursue things that maybe you've always been interested in and haven't really looked into, or you're finding some new interests and hobbies um, just in your daily circumstances. Um, but I definitely see this big pursuit towards your happiness and what you like to do and some new things maybe getting thrown into the mix. For some of you, this rune does talk about setting up personal barriers as well, um, especially against people who start to kind of break down whatever this new happy structure you're building is. Um, you learn to kind of put a little barrier and a boundary between you and the people who would threaten that in a way. Um, I think for majority, I don't think that's a big issue, um, but I wanted to mention it because it kind of goes in line with some of the aspects we have today. So we have a couple. Um, we have three that I really want to talk about. Two that I think are a little more physical. They're going to affect the environment we're in. And then one that's going to be personal. So we make two... Uh, uh, not hard, but difficult aspects. So the moon makes a square to Mars. And it also is in opposition to Saturn. So the square to Mars is going to make us, you know, a little easier to pop off. Like, <laughs> it'll be real easy to, like... You know, instead of having to poke our button, like, you know, six times, maybe it only takes two before we blow up and, you know, get all up in your face and confrontational. Because, um, again, it's Mars. It's that warrior energy. And then we also have this opposition to Saturn, which makes, it's kind of like your feelings, you know, are not meeting up with, you know, the structures in place. So it's, it's people are going to be really, really set and solid in their beliefs. Whatever they feel, they're like they're. It's gonna be very hard to budge anyone. That includes you as well as others. The reason I want to talk about that, because if you're aware of it, because remember these are just the energies that are around us. That doesn't mean we need to fall victim to them. You know, it's just it's something to be aware of. Oh, I may be a little prone, be prone to pop off today, so I need to be aware of when and how I use that ability. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. So we just want to keep it in check. Um, and those two kind of go hand in hand. If you have everyone you know, really not open to other perspectives or other ideas. They're really firm and solid in theirs. Once someone brings something that's not their idea, you know, that may, that may make people a little testy today. Just something to be aware of. They may start coming for you. Oh, so you want to be a balloon artist now? No, 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 that's stupid. Who does, like, I'm, and that's just an example, but I'm just saying. Kind of makes sense. Um, what's great about this, um, the moon makes a trine to Neptune which does make us more sensitive. It does offer a bit of inspiration as well, which is beautiful. Um, but I think it's this increase to sensitivity, which is beautiful. Again, I wanted to mention this because I wanted to bring your awareness to the fact that people may be a little more testy, you may be a little more testy, but this trying to Neptune allows us to pick up on that. And then we can use that to our advantage. Okay, this is a little tricky situation. Is there anything I can do about it? Maybe not. I think this person just needs to blow off steam. Okay, I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to do my thing. And it could be your own personal thing, too. Like, oh, I'm feeling real moody. I don't know if this is a situation I want to walk into. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to handle myself during this. And I want to be, you know, I want to keep it professional. I want to stay calm. I'm not in that mind frame, so I better not right now. Use this, you know, use this to your advantage. Um, kind of knowing these are the energies that are kind of swirling around this. And again, you don't have to fall victim to it. Just because someone is being testy doesn't mean you need to be testy, you know. And honestly, this sensitive with Neptune, you may even be able to coax them down. You know what I mean? It's all in how you use these these powers that be, so to speak. All right? So, with that said, honestly, I'm so excited that we got Wunjo. I'm just excited for what what happiness it brings. I mean, like, who doesn't, who doesn't want an extra dose of happy? Like, that's, 
That's wonderful. So I'm kind of excited to see how that works out for all of us. Ooh. Wow, okay, that's a lot. We're going to take the ones that landed face up. Did you guys say yuck? Where did we go? Oh. We got some new ones. We haven't seen these before. I love. All right. So I'm going to read these from the book, but we got The Gift. Beautiful. For some reason, the number 23 on this card is standing out. Maybe because it's five and this is change. We're changing to a course of happiness? I don't know. I'll take it, though. But we got The Gift. Under My Umbrella. And we also got Liberty. Two is maybe a big big thing for us today as well, because we got 23, we got 20, and 2. Each one has a 2 in there. And then 5 shows up again for us. So you can see there's like stars, sorry, my shadow was blocking it. There's like stars dangling underneath her hair. So there's 4 stars dangling, and then there's 1 in her hand. She's like feeding to this little bird in the cage. So there's 5 stars in there. And our moon, we all know, we all know that fun moon happening on Sunday, tomorrow. Oh my god, it's tomorrow. Hi. Exciting. Okay, let's get, let's get some info on these cards. I've never seen the Under My Umbrella one before. This is exciting. All right. Let's start with this girl, the gift. Whimsy, excitement, curiosity, gift. Under a snowy sky, a woman with feathered hair holds a little box. What is inside the box? We don't know for sure, but it seems to be a gift. Simple on the outside, but perhaps magical within. We can only imagine what would happen if we could tug the string and peer inside. Would it be the fulfillment of an old wish? Hmm, where have we heard that before? We've been talking about a lot about that. Remember the curiosity we have before opening presents, the magical space between dreams and truth. A gift reminds us of the excitement we have in these special moments. Yes! We have totally been talking about a dream coming true. Totally. That this this delivery is coming. This magical thing that we've prayed and wished for is on its way to us. Maybe it arrives today. Maybe your mailman's going to knock on your door. Who knows? Who knows all about it? Under my umbrella. Compassion, care, friendship, protection. Oh my god. Major discussion of what we just talked about. Even the under my umbrella part. Like just... You can kind of see it's like just raining under this person's personal umbrella. Like, I don't know. It's just giving me this like crazy vibe of this like protect your own happiness. Like what we talked about with the runes and the aspects. Just because it's raining all around you doesn't mean you need to get wet. You got your, you got an umbrella. Enjoy it. All right, let's read this. All right, hold on. Let me refocus. Uh, compassion, compare, friendship, protection. A man is perched on the back of a giant parrot. He is holding an umbrella, which keeps the bird dry from the rain. This man is happy to help. He does not fear climbing up the big bird or a possible nip from her sharp beak. He is optimistic that his small umbrella is good enough to protect the bird from the weather. He is a true friend, aware of the power of a helping touch or smile to brighten someone's day. In turn, he is rewarded with a burst of color in his own life. Yes, what did I say? Just because other people may be a little stormy. Does it mean you have to ride that wave? And I bet you for the majority of the people who watch my videos, you are to some degree sensitive. So you do know the effect when it talks about where is it. Um, he is a true friend, aware of the power of a helping touch or smile to brighten someone's day. I know you can relate. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you right there. I know you know the power of that. And this is, this is definitely something we can share. Maybe something we can gift to the people we interact with today. Know how powerful you are, especially if you're living in joy. Like, that takes your power up to a whole nother level and magnifies it, like, times 800 million bajillions. I don't even know why that sentence came out of my mouth. Good Lord, I am just so excited about something. <laughs> okay, liberty. Choices, confidence, letting go, self-determination. This big focus on, on us as an individual, right? This card shows a woman standing in profile, a birdcage hangs from her hair, and she is about to release her winged friend into the night. The stars in the moon are guiding the little bird's way. The woman has plucked a special star from the sky to help shepherd that bird's journey. We talked about that little star too, didn't we? 
This card stands for the freedom you have to choose your own way in life. Yes. Don't let others decide for you. You have the power to liberate yourself from both external and internal cages. Many of the obstacles we face are ones we create ourselves. Once we realize we've created them, we have the power to release them. Yes. If there's something you've cut yourself off from, know that you did that by simply making a choice. You can simply make a different choice. Oh, good Lord. All about this. This is like huge energy of like, just freedom and living how you want, living the life you want, doing what you want. Like not, not letting others' opinions affect you. Like that may be even just a gift you give to yourself. Just you're giving yourself liberty to be free. Do what you want to do. Go be in love. Go work that new job. Go to the beach with your friends. Like whatever it is. Like just go do live your best life i'm all about every second of that i have nothing but time for all of that oh god if 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 we're friends in person and we've been hanging out recently you know that's become my new phrase i have nothing but time i've been watching too much youtube videos that's what that is <laughs> all right and then oh i didn't mention it but just you've seen it before but that was the oracle of mystical moments and we are going to use the um, Starman Tarot deck, because I'm all about it. I think I'm just going to cut and flip today. Don't do two cuts. I'm like feeling it up. No, we're going to, this is good. Whoop. So two of pentacles being flexible. Being flexible, compassionate. This could be weighing out two options if there's a decision that needs to be made in your life. But being flexible, being in the flow for sure. Look at that. Two of Pentacles all the way to Ten of Pentacles. Living in abundance. Living that best life. We were just talking about it. Look, Ten of Wands. So two tens. Major completion. Ten of Pentacles. You also got the Ten of Wands, which is laying down burdens. This is that liberty card. This is releasing yourself. This is opening up. I know it's not a cage, you know, it's a it's sacred geometry that's around this little figure in the corner, but doesn't it look like a cage? Doesn't it look like a barrier? Like, all about releasing. Like, whatever has been causing you strife and struggle, like, let it go, release it. It really has no power over you, which is the funny thing. Like, it really, like, like um, Liberty talked about, once you realize you create the cage, you can easily open it. This is releasing the burden, releasing the stress to live in abundance. Leaving the Ten of Wands to live in the Ten of Pentacles. Again, I look, what I talk about, the shipment coming in, right? What card have we had that tells us the shipment's coming in? The Three of Mother Truck and Wands. He's back again. Oh, my goodness. I keep looking at these towers. So I keep looking at the cards to see if I pick up anything from the images. Don't these towers look like like clock towers? Like I mean, not like Big Ben, but like Big Ben. Um, it's just giving me this, like, it's, it's just a matter of time. Everything has been set. The plan has been enacted. The troops have been shipped out. Like, it's, it's just a matter of time. Everything else has been done. It's just a matter of time. King of Wands. So for those of you looking for romance, maybe looking for a partner, this is a very, very passionate, passionate, charismatic man that could be coming in. Maybe he brings your gift. Maybe he is the gift. Maybe both. You don't know. And again, stop it. So maybe he's a Gemini. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. But look, then we get the lover's card. I mean... Oh, again, nothing but time. Love it. Nothing but time. Let's do one more. You know, it's funny. So I was looking at the cards, and I was like, let's do one more. We're at, we're at six. I feel like seven's a good number to end on. I feel like seven's good. What did we get? Seven of wands. Oh, so excited. And so, again, and I talk about this a lot, because when I watch, I watch a lot of readers on YouTube, which I love. I love them all. 
Um, a lot, and it's it's a common thing that this is perceived, the Seven of Wands is perceived as a block. I honestly don't see it that way. When I see this, and it can be a block because it is about, like, you can see, like, the individual is in possession of one wand, and then there's six other wands coming at him. So it is kind of, it is, it does, imagery-wise, it does have this, like, notion of, like, standing up against the forces and things. But honestly, when I, when I read the Seven of Wands, I see, like, sticking to your guns, owning your individual path, rising up and sitting in your power, like, doing things your way, no matter what these other six people are saying. And honestly, they're, all of their opinions are probably going to be different, but none of them line up with yours. That's fine. We're not talking about their life. We're talking about your life. You do it how you want to do it. This is your life. You play by your rules. And, you know, apparently you're going to have some, some nice sex a man come and join you. And again, not about the gender. Could totally be a woman. Just saying. Whatever you're into, it's all good. But do you live in abundance? Because this gift is coming. I think it's also kind of powerful that we get two tens the day before the super blood moon, which is our full moon for the month. Full moons are always about endings and new beginnings. Here's your endings. Releasing the burden, opening the cage, letting yourself free. All about it. All right beautiful i can't even like look bottom of the deck king of pentacles super manifested this is i want to say this is our energy this is where we're getting this well manifested grounded stable energy grounded in our own perception grounded in our own you know life and how we how we perceive things and what our goals are what our path is we know our path we know our power we know our value and from there you know we're on that level we are on that level, that kingly, fully mastered sense of self. All about it. Beautiful. Lot, we got a, I mean, we got a fair amount of wands and pentacles here, which tells me there's going to be a lot of action. There's going to be a lot of action today. Um, wands, definitely a very action-oriented suit. Um, so there's going to be a lot of doing today. And then mirroring that with the pentacles, which are very grounded, very stable. A lot of times it's slow-moving, patient energy. So you almost ha you're almost at odds. Like, I want to go do, but I'm trying to stay grounded. Um, but once you kind of put those together, you realize that you're acting from a grounded place. Because this is all your perception. We're dealing with your reality. Which, again, like Liberty said, you created. This is your playground. How you want to interact, you know, through your daily life, you choose. Do you want to be stressed out and fearful and, and, and worried about everything? Or do you want to live in abundance? This is, I want to say this is your choice. This is your two of pentacles. Do you want to live in abundance? Do you want to live in, in stress? What you like? Who you want? It's all about, it's all about that choice. Choose to do it your way. However you want. If you want to choose stress, that's on you. Go for it. Do it. Honestly, I would choose joy because your gift is coming. This abundance and your, is yours. It has your name on it. It's waiting for you to get there. It's literally like, I'm all yours, boo-boo. Come, come for me. Come pick me up. I'm ready. Shipment's ready. Oh, so excited for us. I think that's beautiful. All right, my lovelies. I'm going to end the reading here. As always, sending you guys lots of love. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love for you to join our community. Um, if you guys can give me a like, especially if you like the video, it just helps the channel to grow and helps us to reach more people to help grow our community even bigger. Um, and as always, I love to hear from you guys. Um, if there's anything you want to share, how this um, is manifesting in your life, or, or what you felt or thought, um, please hit me up. You can drop a comment down below. You can uh, DM me on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot, or my professional email is in the description box if you want to book a private reading with me. You can hit, really reach out to me any way you want. Um, but yes, I will let you guys go. Enjoy today. Have a fun weekend. Um, tomorrow's reading is going to be exciting. Can't wait for it. Um, and yes, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.